I'm gonna go sort those coyotes outside. The weather's changed with that wind, it's starting to snow. So I got uh, a couple coyotes there on boards. I had a couple that I already just wrapped up and froze. I'll get to them a little bit later. And I got some empty spots here, so I'll bring some more in to thaw out. And then I can keep things kind of rolling. There, um, I gotta clean up my mess. But uh, these guys will get done tomorrow. They're still frozen legs a little bit. Too bad. Anyways, caught up on some videos there. Andrew Stanley's got a couple more videos out today. Uh, Lobo Pro Predator Control. He had a little live. Watch that. So I'll put some uh, shout outs here and how to hunt. Had another video out. All right, we're going to go take care of our stuff outside here. Let's check the weather out. Wind's blowing, snowing. Brutal. Rather be in there having supper. Haven't had supper yet. And the snow is coming. So this is signs of an early coyote. You can see the guard hairs sticking through. The rest of it's not too bad. It's a little bit darker, but guard hairs are sticking through. Once we flip it, you'll see it's gonna be a little bit flatter right along the back. There, this is a custom skin job. Start of the new months here. Like you've seen, uh, getting the coyotes starting to go on the boards there. I'm gonna get these ones all skinned up. But you're going to see this rack getting fuller and fuller. And I'm going to reorganize a few th things right now. These ones here are uh, are for a uh, tanning workshop that I was supposed to do this last summer. So I'll take them and I'll throw them in the freezer just so they don't get too stale and go from there. But uh, yeah, going to start uh, getting some work done today. Maybe we'll give you a little shot after it's all done it's been a few days heading out to the wolf line here bringing the skidoo maybe you can just drive close to it we'll see how things shake out but uh pretty warm out there don't think it's really plus nine but i think that's uh out to lunch a little bit still got some work to do in here all right, so we're just rolling up to offload the skidoo here. Takes a little bit of time to get out here. The roads are icy, but looks like we got a bit of snow since I was last out here, which is awesome. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to drive. Um, that's why I brought the snowmobile and the trailer in the back there. So we're gonna use the snowmobile. We can rip a little quicker and I won't have to worry about getting stuck or anything like that. So, all right, I'll show you if there's anything interesting right out of daylight here. And I'm going to bring a flashlight and top up the skidoo with a little bit of fuel so we shouldn't run out. Thank goodness. Good thing I took a look at that just before I pulled out of the yard. But all right, we'll see you in a bit. Well, last time we were down this way, we had uh, there's that snowball. Now you can see it underneath, but looks like coyotes came and had to pee on it. They came to check it out. And then that might be a wolf track going there so we'll see what's going on all right throwing a bit of snow and uh just gonna lift up my hood here because i smelled something hopefully nothing's caught uh fire here anyways we're losing daylight so i gotta hurry up here but i gotta check this first i think well i see what it was there this wire here it's pretty hot but uh with the fuse was up against the exhaust melting that wires for my uh, little plug-in I, I put in and when I put the battery in I must have missed that and it pulled off there anyway so that's good nothing too major burning in there just melt warm and and uh, it's all good now we'll carry on well this is where I put the two uh, Two snares there, just on their heavy trails. Doesn't look like they've been back here. Walking in, she's 
That's my knee. Nothing touch that snare there. And that one over there is still up. I thought they were pretty good. I thought something should get caught. But no such luck. Not even another track in here. All right, I'm gonna pull these up. Our 14 day forecast looks like it's in the pluses there and I was hoping we'd get some cooler temps, but no such luck. And this is the other one here. Like I said, they're pretty, they're pretty blended in. And the trail would have buggered off through there. But uh, no such luck. Might have something up there, but I'm probably the worst wolf trapper there is in this field right now. All right, catch it inside the bait there. Pull two snares there. Nothing, something bumped the one, but I'm not sure what it is. So you can see all the snow covered up all the sign of the wolves and whatnot. Got a stink pail over there, I'm gonna go grab and then make my tour. See what we come across. It's like uh, links tracks right here on top of the snow. Well, here's one of the snares. This is the one we caught a, well not this snare, but same spot. We caught a coyote on and the wolves knocked her over. And I don't think they've been back since uh, that was last year. So my luck, I'll pull everything out and they'll come back through here in the next couple of days. There's, I don't know if you can see that, but there's the power rams that I've been pulling. And there's one more just in the trail on the way out. And then I got two snares to check in there. So I'm going to pull this one up. I already pulled another five in here. And like I pointed out before, it's pretty thick in here. And this is where we've had the most luck. And this is the heaviest trail here. But all right, I might get lucky with one inside. Never know. Okay, and we'll catch you at the next set. Been busy sorting furs and getting things ready here to get out the door. Haven't been doing much for videos. I'm getting up nice and early. Just so I can turn the links and the the fisher before they're rock hard in the morning. And uh yeah, sorry guys. We got things boxed up here, just looking through the shop. So we still got some links and some coyotes to deal with there and uh shop's been a mess here haven't made a video for quite a while just trying to catch up on different stuff had to teach a course and my dad had uh open heart surgery so i've been running back and forth there dealing with that and then boxing these up here these are coyotes from the season some other fur that we bought but uh yeah gonna try and start getting the videos out here sorry guys this life gets in the way. But uh, that's how she goes. And yeah, we're gonna just put away some stuff from trapping courses we did and tidy up the shop. So not, nothing too interesting, but I am gonna do a little bit of a video here on lynx bellies and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. All right, we'll catch you in a bit here. It's breaking, I can hear it. 